not so often I start my my YouTube, my video with a joke, but this time I have the personal need to do that. So that's the story. Moshe, a Jew, a newcomer in town, is desperate in need for a shul. So he wants to join a shul. So he comes, he arrives, and the person in charge of the office of membership tells him, so welcome to our shul. Uh, just to fill your, you know, your affiliation, we need your social security number. And Moshe tells the, the guy, you know, unfortunately, I'm a newcomer to America, so I don't have a social security number, but it, they told me that in a couple of weeks, don't worry, said the man, don't worry. Once you have the social security number, you come, you see us, and you join. So Moshe leaves, he knows that he will be able to, to bring the requirements. So a couple of months later, he comes, he says, finally, now I want to join the shul, absolutely, says the man, social security number, say, hey, what's your credit card number? I said, no. I don't have a credit card number yet because, you know, they, 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 I didn't receive a credit card from the bank. They want me to build my credit. It will take me a while. Don't worry, says the guy in the office. Once you have the, your, your, your new credit card, you come, you see us, you give us the number, we come bill you, and you become a member. So Moshe has the feeling that they don't want him as a member, and he walks in the street and walks and cries. And God says to him, Moshe, why, why are you crying? He says, you know, you know for, for, for already a year, I'm trying to join that shul, and they don't allow me to enter there. And God said to him, you cry for a year? For 20 years I'm trying to join that shul, and they don't allow me to be part of them. It's a joke, but it's also sad. The city, the country, the world is full with sanctuaries, Jewish, Christian, Catholic, Muslim, where God can be found, but also, and a lot of them are places where not even once, you can feel the presence of God. What's the connection between this joke, this message, and the part of the week? Today, we receive the order in the wilderness, build me a sanctuary so I can dwell among them. The order is very clear. Create a space of worship where I can be, where I can be there. So I imagine that what God envisions, and that's why the synagogue is still the most important institution in Jewish life, at least according to most of us, because the synagogue is not about how many doors and windows and furniture we have, but it's about how, how much we care about each other. That's why we need 10 people to start praying. I can do by myself, but that's not the same, because when I find him or her in a prayer, I find him with capital H which is what we call in Martin Buber's theology, the me and you theology. To find him, we need a hi and a you. So what's the best thing a synagogue or a church or a, or, or, or a mosque can do for each other? To remind you about your worth in society. Even in some places they will close you a door in your face because you don't have social security number or credit card. In the real shul, in the real synagogue, they will always must be a place for everybody. If not, he will never come in if there are brothers and sisters who want to come in and we don't allow them to do that. So as a rabbi, I beg you, if you know that we are doing something wrong, that we are not accommodating the need of everybody, please come and let me know. But at the same time, I'm challenging you. I don't care how old you are. You can still do something to convert this place in a better place where there will be room for everybody so he can dwell among us. Shabbat Shalom.